Hey there, this is Akshat Madan and welcome back to part 2 of creating an currency converter application in Flutter using Open Exchange API. And in the last part, uh, I just show you uh, what is the API and what is the structure of the result that we are getting from the API. And we are also getting a JSON data uh, and that JSON data we are going to use to fetch the results or fetch the cur cur converted currency, right? So first of all, in the init state, we saw that I'm using this fetch rates function and fetch currencies function and whatever, whatever result I'm getting from these two functions, I'm storing them in the result and all currencies. And this all currencies is getting used in this drop down list. And this result is getting used for showing the currency, the final output. So now let's move on to these two functions and let's see what they have. So first of all, uh, these two functions are in the same file. That is inside the functions folder, we have fetch rates dot dot and inside this file, we have these two functions. We have some other things also and that I'm going to tell you soon. What is the purpose? So first of all, let's see this fetch currencies. So over here, you can see future map. So that means I'm going to get a map after running this function. So this all currency is nothing but a map. That's why if you go to home dot dot in the initial variables, this all currencies is a future map and it is a lead. That means I'm going to get this future map after some time, right? That's why that function is also a sync function. So that's why this all currency is a variable, which is going to get this value, which is a map, future map. So let's go to this function again and await HTTP dot get URI dot parse. This is the URL. So this URL you can also get from this uh, currencies dot JSON in the currencies dot JSON. Let me just do a quick uh, do a quick example. So we don't have to provide anything that is not required. So let's just click on try it. And you can see that I'm getting a map of all the currencies which is storing the uh, currency in short form and the full form of the currency. And you can see that this is my URL. So in this URL, you have to provide your app ID, right? That's why I'm accessing this key. So let's go to this key. And you can see that I'm again in utils folder. I'm having this key. So let's go to fetch rates. So yes, this was the URL that we have to provide. And in the result, and you can see that response is the variable which is going to store the response. And I'm using this all currencies dot from JSON, all currencies from JSON. So if you will go to models folder, you have two files, all currency dot dot and rates model dot dot. So this rates model dot dot is for this function and this all currencies dot dot file is for this function. So we are first of all focusing on this fetch currencies for this drop down list. So let's go to this all currencies dot dot. And inside this, you can see that I've created a JSON model, which is going to get the body of the response from the HTTP dot dot. And then it is going to give me a final map. So how you can create this model? You don't have to write this model. So first of all, what you have to do, you have to copy the uh, uh, result that you are getting from the API. So let's copy this. Uh, let me just control A. Okay, it is copying everything. Uh, yes, control C. And then you have to go to this website called quicktype.io. And then you have to click on open quick type. And over here, you have to paste that result. Perfect. You can give the name of your file and you can see that over here, I've given the name as, uh, okay, this is not requiring any name. So let's uh, select our language that is Dart. And you can see that this is my model. So you have to copy this model and I have pasted this model. And you can see that over here, it is telling that if you want to get this map, you have to call this line and the same line I'm calling over here. Final all currencies is equal to all currencies from, from JSON response dot body. So this all currencies from JSON is nothing but this function. This is going to decode my JSON and it is going to give me the final map. Okay, so this means that I'm getting a map of all my currencies in this after this after running this line and I'm storing this result in this all currencies variable and I'm returning this variable and this home dot dot is going to receive that map and I'm, I can use this map in my drop down list that that we will be seeing in the next part. Now let's see this fetch rates function. So let's go to this fetch rates function. And over here for this, we are going to see uh, this latest.json because we want to get the rates uh, of the current time. And you can see that, let me just run this example also. So app ID we require. So let's go to utils and let me just copy my app ID. So let's paste that app ID. 
and base is optional because it is going to consider USD as my base and let me just try it and you can see that it gives me all the rates uh, and all the rates uh, with respect to USD so this one USD is equal to 3.6 AED so let's copy this result and let's try to get the JSON model of this so let me just copy it go to quick type control A control V because I want to paste this result now and you can see that let me just put the name of the class as rates model and you can see that I've got my model over here so copy this complete file and you can go to this form models then rates model and you can see that I've pasted this file and for the null safety you have to re write required after every parameter that you will get from the hints also you can click this bulb and it will give you the hint and it is telling that if you want to get uh, if you want to retrieve the answer from this model you have to write this line so if I go to function and fetch rates you can see that I'm calling this API I'm getting the result I'm getting a response and I'm giving this response dot body to my rates model dot from JSON so if you go to this rates model from JSON it is this function perfect and it is going to give me everything that will be there in this so and I'm going to store this in the result and in the home dot dot you can see that this fetch rates function result I'm storing in result variable so which is defined over here which is of type rates model right so this you have to make sure it, this was a map but it is a rates model and now you can get everything that we get from the API using this result variable which is of type rates model so in this video we saw that how you can um, call the APIs how you can get the JSON data and how you can decode that JSON data using this quicktype.io and you can create JSON models perfect so in the next part we will be uh, mainly focusing on the UI you have to build this UI and yes so till the next part keep coding keep innovating and thanks a lot